Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from Skill Builder, and we're continuing our journey through Britain, changing boilers, putting up the Baxi Platinum in place of whatever we find. Now, in this particular installation, we found a Baxi Platinum, so we're gonna do a straight swap. Now, it's estimated that there's something like a million of these boilers in Britain in service, and they will be coming up for renewal. So the easiest way to renew them is like for like, using the jig, and all the pipe positions are the same. We can just do what we hope is a simple swap over. Obviously, we're gonna flush the system out, clean that completely, do a couple of other little things as well. We've got a scale conditioner, red scale conditioner to put on the pipes, and we've got a brand new AD Magna Clean to put on as well. Now, with the Boiler Plus legislation, whenever you replace a combi boiler or install a new one, you've got to improve the system by fitting one of four different energy saving devices. Now, in this case, we're going to be using the Nest Thermostat E because it's a very simple way of complying with that legislation. The Nest Thermostat E is an ingenious piece of technology that provides greater control of the heating system by taking into account the variants such as the weather and the occupant's living patterns. For example, if the weather turns unexpectedly mild, the Nest Thermostat E will delay the start time of the heating while still making sure that it manages to reach the target temperature by the required time. It can also link to your phone via the Nest app or through your Google Assistant devices. For example, just by saying, hey Google, make it warmer. And it's very easy to fit. And the good news for your customer is that it's also very easy to operate. Once fitted, it complies with the requirements of Boiler Plus legislation. So as an installer, you're automatically complying and your customer can look forward to lower fuel bills and lower emissions. There are other things you can do, such as load compensation or flue gas heat recovery, but quite honestly, the Nest is a very simple way of doing it, and Mr. Central Heating are supplying this boiler with a Nest thermostat as a package so that you can automatically comply. So I've got with me Gary here, who's a local gas safe installer, does plenty of heating systems, and uh, he's coming into take charge really i'm going to help him um this is high up this one gary isn't it yeah it's not bad uh, yeah. Not ladder. Uh, yeah i mean the thing is they had a washing machine and tumble dryer which we've taken out the yeah. way so that's why it's pushed up nearly as high as it can go right up to the ceiling but it gives us a chance to look underneath and do that so yeah. nice change in a way so long as we've got enough strength to yeah we should be all right lift us up electrical box as it's a straight change it's just going to take a quick picture of that because it's going to go back exactly the way it came out so we've disconnected the electric supply um, now we can just isolate the flow and return and gas from underneath the boiler here and we loosen these five connections here the jig remains on the wall. We can lift the boiler once we remove the flue, which we're going to be working on in a minute. Um, we can lift the boiler off this jig and the new boiler is ready to fit on this jig. In this particular instance, because we're changing the Magnatech and a few other bits of pipe work here, we will, we've drained and flushed this system and we will be actually replacing the jig while it's drained, we might as well, because we've got a bit of a leaking isolation valve there. So we might as well replace the, this jig that's 10 years old. Normally, if you leave it outside the house, it'll be gone by the evening. Now, this is the boiler that we're going to fit. It's the Baxi Platinum 40 Combi ERP, the biggest output they do. Oh, that rolled it. Yeah, that's all right. There's loads of room. I just need to get a saw blade in there. Push, Rog. Push and twist. That's solid.
That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. No, don't. You can't put the screws on. in. Wait a minute. You can look. So here we are. That's another Baxi Platinum installed, completed. Gary's done all the paperwork on it, and it's ready to go. All I've got to do is complete the installation of that Nest thermostat E. So now we're going to fit the Nest Thermostat E and the first part of this is to fit the heat link in place of the existing room thermostat. Now this is an old Honeywell, it looks like it's past its best days anyway. So I'm going to swap this over, I've turned the electricity off, so now I'm just going to have a look at the wiring and see what's what. So this is the sort of thing that happens, that old thermostat was painted in and it's taken a bit of plaster and the paint away but luckily this plate covers up most of the problems there. If you have a neutral in the old stat you can terminate this with one of the terminal blocks in the box. There are a number of terminals in this heat link unit and the no volt contacts will switch a 240 volt current up to 3 amps so you can connect the common and the switch live back to the boiler. The terminals are normally open so they make on calling for heat. The heat link E can also be connected to a boiler via open therm for an even more efficient experience. So now I've got the heat link set up. It's in a nice central location so it gets good Wi-Fi signal. I've now got to go and get the customer's phone and link up that Nest thermostat E. Hey Google, set the thermostat to 18 degrees. Sure, setting downstairs to 18 degrees. Come back and see us soon, we've got more installations coming up.